Hey guys, it's Leia. Today we will learn how to solve more advanced integrals using integration by parts. First, it's important to review the integration by parts formula. Given an integral in this form, we can rewrite this into the equation u times v minus the integral of v du, where u equals f of x and dv equals g of x dx. We find du by taking the derivative of f of x and we find v by taking the integral of g of x dx. Another thing that is important to review is a suggested list in order of what to set u equal to. The integrals we will be solving today require using integration by parts multiple times. These integrals will most likely have an integrand in the form of a polynomial times a trig expression, or a polynomial times an exponential expression, or an exponential expression times a trig expression. Because we will be using integration by parts multiple times, it's important to follow the suggested list of what to set u equal to each time. It's also super important to keep your work very neat when using integration by parts just one time, but especially when you're using it multiple times because it gets very easy to miss a step or substitute the wrong expression. Now let's see our first example. We have the integral of x squared times e to the 3x dx. We refer to the list of what to set u equal to. Going down the list, we see that there is an algebraic expression in the integrand. So we set u equal to x squared, which means dv equals e to the 3x dx. We then calculate du and v. We will put these values into the integration by parts formula. Next, we'll rewrite this by pulling out the constants in the integrand. And now we'll focus on solving this integral. We will need to use integration by parts again to do this. We refer back to the list and see that there is an algebraic expression in the integrand. So, we set u equal to x and dv equal to e to the 3x dx. We then calculate du and v. We substitute these values into the integration by parts formula. We can easily solve this integral, so we will do that and get 1 3rd times x times e to the 3x minus 1 9th times e to the 3x plus c. We will now substitute the answer for this integral back in for the integral. We can simplify this answer and get 1 3rd times x squared times e to the 3x minus 2 9 times x times e to the 3x minus 2 over 27 times e to the 3x plus c. The example before was a pretty standard example of how to solve integrals using integration by parts multiple times. This next example is a little trickier because we will use algebraic manipulation to help us find the answer. We have the integral of e to the x times sine of x dx. We refer back to the list of what to set u equal to. We go down the list and see that there is a trig function in the integrand. So we say u equal to sine of x and dv equal to e to the x dx. We then calculate du and v. We substitute these values into the integration by parts formula. In order to solve this new integral, we will have to use integration by parts again. We refer back to the list and see that there is a trig function again in the integrand. So we say u equal to cosine of x and dv equal to e to the x dx. We then calculate du and v. We substitute these values into the integration by parts formula. We then simplify and get e to the x times cosine of x plus the integral of e to the x times sine of x dx. This integral looks pretty familiar. I wonder why. Well, it's the integral we're trying to solve. We can't use integration by parts again to solve this integral because it will just keep taking us into a never-ending loop. So we will leave it as is and substitute this expression in for the integral. Now let's simplify the answer. We can see now that we can use algebraic manipulation to solve this integral. So we add the integral of e to the x times sine of x dx to the left, and we will then divide the 
equation by 2. And this gives us our answer e to the x times sine of x minus e to the x times cosine of x over 2. Advanced integration by parts can be pretty tricky because there are so many steps. So for more help, visit www.symbolapp.com and click on the practice tab.